Okay, so we're gonna make some queso today. Uh, I got this recipe from Meat Church. We're making some changes. We're going to add some milk, substitute a few other things, but essentially it is a two pound block of Velveeta, about a pound of smoked Gouda. This does add smoke flavor, so today we're gonna do it in the crock pot. A lot of people smoke this. We'll, we'll, we'll smoke this at, uh, at some point on a different day. Um, but the smoked Gouda will add smoke taste if you wanna keep it in a crock pot. Two cans of Rotel, a can of cream of mushroom soup. What this, does, what this does is add some consistency and it keeps that cheese nice and smooth and, and not clumpy. And then uh, two tablespoons of uh, some rub. I'm, I'm using the Meat Church recipe, so I'm gonna use their rub. Um, but you can use any sort of season that you want to help. And then we're also gonna add two pounds of meat. Today we're gonna use chorizo and spicy breakfast sausage, all right? So what I wanna do here is we'll put this aside. What I wanna do here is cut this up into cubes, cut this up into cubes so that we can go ahead, dump it in the crock pot and, and get things going. And then we'll go ahead and put the meat. Okay, we cut our cheese, we've opened our cans. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add all of our ingredients. So again, it is a two pounds of Velveeta, one pound of smoked Gouda. Then we have two cans of Rotel, a can of peanut mushroom soup, and then two tablespoons of uh, your rub of choice. I'm using Meat Church Holy Cow. Um, so we'll go ahead, we'll put this in the crock pot. I have it on cook mode, so every crock pot's different, but since we want the cheese to melt and we're gonna get it going, I have it on, this crock pot says high, but whatever mode it is to actually get your stuff cooking, uh, that's what we're gonna start with. Then we'll go ahead and cook the meat. After we drain the meat, I'm just gonna dump that hot meat right on top of the cheese and that'll help uh, melt everything as well. So let's go ahead and get everything in here. Spread it out. We cut this stuff up in the cubes to sort of help it melt. Uh, if we just threw a big rectangle block of Velveeta in here, uh, it would not melt. Or it would take forever, and um, you know, we want this to go nice and quick and be nice and easy. We're gonna do our two cans of Rotel. Some people do the spicy Rotel, either two cans of that or one in one. You know, it's all personal preference. This is super easy. We're just gonna dump it all in here, let the crock pot do all the work, and then we'll come back and have a delicious dip. Cream of mushroom soup is a weird one, but um, this actually helps with the consistency. You are not going to taste mushrooms, I promise you. I'm not a mushroom fan, but I am a big fan of this dip, so it all works itself out. Now we're gonna do two tablespoons of seasoning. Again, I'm using Meat Church Holy Cow. You can use whatever you want, spicy, less spicy, whatever makes sense to you. Two tablespoons. And this does not need to be exact. One. Two. Now what we'll go ahead and we'll get our meat on the stove. And uh, once that meat's seasoned up, we'll put it back in a crock pot and then we'll be good for a while. All right, our pan's hot. So let's go ahead and cook up our meat. So I'm gonna do one pound of uh, hot breakfast sausage and then one pound of chorizo. So obviously it's whatever you want it to be. These have a ton of flavor. I do like um, a little bit of spice. And what's nice is you'll get some spice with the chorizo, you'll get some spice with the breakfast sausage, but between the, the, the cheese and we'll probably end up adding milk if it's too thick. And um, you know some of the other ingredients, it, it won't be too unbearable. Up a little bit. So what we want to do here is we do have to cook this all the way through. So the crock pot's going to get everything to melt, but it's not going to necessarily cook the meat. So we can't be putting raw meat in there. So we want this to cook. If there's a lot of grease, we will drain it. 
If there's not, then we'll just go ahead and leave it as is. Break this up. Now I'm gonna add the chorizo. I'm just gonna cook this all in the same bin at the same time. It'll cook pretty much at the same pace. Um, it's all going in the crock pot together, so no reason to uh, overcomplicate anything. As you can see, I am not a professional chef. So this is gonna take about 10, 15 minutes, maybe even a little longer. So what we want now is we just want it to break up. And then we want it to brown. So we'll break this up. As I start to see it brown, I'll probably put the cover on just to let it steam and make sure it cooks all the way through. But for now, we'll just mix it up. Break it up where we can. Get this to brown. All right, so we've got our meat browned, it's ready to go. There is a good amount of grease in here, you can see that. So we want to drain this, I don't want to dump that. Um, into the queso, that'll just come to the top and be kind of gross. So we'll drain this grease and then we'll go ahead and mix it all into the crock pot together. All right, I drained the meat. I basically just ran it through a strainer. We'll go ahead and add that to the crock pot now. I'm just gonna put this hot meat right on top of everything else. Let that heat radiate down. Start it. Give it a second here and then we'll start to mix it in. And that's all we're doing here. So we're just mixing these ingredients. I'm gonna let the heat of this meat and the crock pot obviously start to melt all of this cheese and bring it all together. We're gonna check back in a little bit. So, um, you know, just keep checking in. I'll stir occasionally. If it gets too thick, which might happen and does happen pretty often, honestly, um, I'm just gonna add milk, probably a cup or two of milk, mix that in and that'll give it a nice texture. Some people do beer, um, that's not really my thing. Uh, I feel like that's a weird mix of flavors, but you know, whatever liquid you wanna add. I'm gonna do milk. Some people do sweet uh, condensed milk, but you know, there's no uh, exact science. It's all personal preference here. So we're gonna mix this a little bit, put the lid on it, we'll let it melt and literally just come back in a few hours and just let the crock pot and time do what they do. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes or an hour, so let's go ahead and check on this. See how it's coming along. It's actually looking really good. Uh, so it's melted really well. Uh, we still have some chunks in there. There's a chunk of Velveeta there that hasn't melted yet. So we'll stir it, we'll let it go a little bit longer. Um, once we can tell that there's no chunks left and it's, it's pretty much melted, then we'll figure out if it's too thick and we should add milk. I mean, I'm 99% sure this is going to be too thick and we should add milk, but uh, you know, we'll let it finish melting and go from there. I still have this on you know, cook mode, if you will, um, but once we add the milk and, and this is done melting, then we can go ahead and lower it to you know, simmer or warm, whatever setting your crock pot has. Okay, it's been about a half an hour since we last checked it. Maybe we're talking about an hour and 20 minutes total. So go ahead. Check it. Okay, so actually you can tell here it is much, the consistency is much better than it was a few minutes ago, or uh, last time we checked. So uh, I actually don't think I'm gonna add milk. I think this melted nicely. Um, there's still a few small chunks in here, but those will work their way through. So I think we're pretty much all set here. So no reason to add any milk. I'm liking this texture. Uh, so I think this came out great, let's try it. Sticks to a chip, it still falls off, so it's not too thick. Yeah, that came out really well. So it's definitely a little spicy. I think that came from the hot breakfast sausage. Um, I've done this before with just chorizo, and it wasn't there wasn't as much kick as there is now. So I think the hot breakfast sausage definitely added more kick. 
Um, this came out delicious. Obviously you can substitute any meats that you want and make this as, as spicy or as mild as you'd like. But um, all in all, very easy. We just had to chop up uh, some cheese, cook some meat, and throw it in the crock pot for, uh, for about an hour and a half, two hours, and, and it did its thing. So now I'm gonna move this to, um, right now it's on low, I'm gonna move it to warm and just let it, you know, let it keep everything melted while, uh, while we snack.